Hello, everybody out there in the wrestling community. Thank you for tuning into this show. This show here is the boss's bravado, and I am Bobby Munson here on the Video Bros Network. Now, just a little bit of a rundown. The channel here you might have previously known as Ring Respect Radio has now changed over to the Video Bros Network. This particular show, The Boss's Bravado, will be the show that I'm going to be doing on my own where I can talk to you guys a little bit about anything that's in the mainstream of wrestling, so anything that's going on with any of the big companies in particular. Uh, as for Ring Respect, Ring Respect is going to continue to be a show right here on the Video Bros Network. So Ring Respect Radio slash Ring Respect Retro are going to tune in, are turning into a podcast that's going to be done by myself and Mr. Papa Smokes, the man with the angelic voice, who's going to be joining me on the show as well too. While we're currently going through the situation that we are with COVID-19 all around the world, I hope first and foremost that you and your loved ones are all safe out there and keeping healthy during this time. But what it's also causing to do is causing a lot of wrestling companies to be shut down. A lot of things like that are happening. So hopefully we're bringing you as much entertainment as possible in the interim. Uh, we at Prairie Pro Wrestling, who I uh, work on behalf of, have been putting up matches that we had back in July of 2019 when we got our start. It was the Lethal Lottery Tournament. So those matches have been going up very consistently about once every week. Uh, so tune into those. Check those out. They are great. I will put a link in the description below here so that you can go and check out all the work over at Prairie Pro Wrestling that we do. Again, Prairie Pro Wrestling had put on a show just at the kind of the cusp of COVID-19 becoming something here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. So we did get one last show in there and our next scheduled show for May the 2nd, we will see, I guess, just how things pan out at the moment right now. Uh, nobody's really certain when this whole pandemic is going to die down a little or what's really going on. It's a very confusing time for everybody that is out there in the world right now. And I'm sure you are you know, experiencing the same thing, watching this right now. So, you know, I just, again, hope everybody stays safe. And again, when it comes to the wrestling side of it, the wrestling world will go on once everything starts to clear back up for sure. And in the meantime, hey, you know what? Support everything you can that's going out on YouTube and everything like that. All the people that are taking the time to create content right now so that you got something to watch while you're, you know, at home with your families and stuff like that. You know, there isn't a lot of new stuff being put out for television or anything like that because it's not possible being done. But there's a lot of great content creators out there that can offer you some substance during this time. So yeah, definitely check it out and support everybody that you can on YouTube. Give them subscribe, turn on their notification bells. And you know what? While you're at it, go ahead and do the same for us here at the Video Bros Network. So what's coming up this week on the Video Bros Network? So you're going to see a few different casts for myself, Bobby Munson right here on the Boss's Bravado. Uh, but I've got to double check in, hoping to maybe get some ring respect done in there too. have got to talk to my good boy, Papa Smokes, find out if he's willing and able to make that phone call to me this week because yes we will have to do it as a phone in session so he would be calling in you'd be stuck with my ugly mug on screen but hey you know what it's just how it's gonna go for now but you know what today on the boss's bravado let's talk a little bit about what is going on in wrestling at the moment aside from all the closures that are happening the wwe is still Going forth with WrestleMania 36 this coming weekend. Who would have thunk it? Everybody, because we know that no matter what, WWE and Vince McMahon are not going to put a stop to WrestleMania. And this WrestleMania 36 now being done live at the Performance Center, and I've heard that some of the matches have been pre-taped at other locations and stuff like that. Very interested to see how this all pans out. No audience. It's a WrestleMania. I mean, this is supposed to be the big event in wrestling. This is supposed to be what everybody's excited about. And, you know, let me know in the comments if you actually are excited about a no fan based WrestleMania. I mean, it really seems like something that should have been delayed. In my own personal opinion, I think that it could have been held off. You know what? And for what it's worth, if you didn't have a WrestleMania this year, do it next year. Build the hype. I know that there was a lot of payoffs to be had for this year's WrestleMania, but you know, maybe build them up and save them for SummerSlam or something like this this year. Something that you could do with it down the road because, quite frankly, there just isn't enough time to put on a proper WrestleMania. 
at this point in time, especially with everything having to change course. So it's going to be a very different experience. I'm still going to be tuning in. i got to find out what goes down this weekend, see what's going to happen. And hey, you know what? While we're at it, let's go back to doing some good old-fashioned prediction time. I want to know what you guys think of predictions as well, too. So let me know in the comments section below what you think about the winners, who's going to be the winners, who's going to be the losers, any surprises that we'll see at this year's WrestleMania, a two-day event taking place on the WWE Network. So first and foremost, we've got a matchup for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, and it's a ladder match. Really seems to take the steam out of a ladder match when you put it in front of no audience to react to everything that's going to go down inside of there. It's going to be very interesting to see how these teams pull it off, but the current Tag Team Champions... Miz and Morrison are going to be defending against the Usos and the New Day on paper. A very excellent set of three teams that could give us one hell of a show. Very interested to see how this one pans out this coming weekend, whether it's on Saturday, whether it's on Sunday, how it's all going to come together. But it should be a unique experience. And again, from these guys involved in this particular matchup, we know that we're going to get a lot of fun of excitement inside that squared circle they're going to deliver great wrestling action despite what goes down this could be a real winner of a match my prediction for it i think that Miz and morrison are going to keep the titles and you know what that's going to be a very consistent theme throughout my predictions here tonight i can't envision a whole lot of title changes going down on this particular night maybe one or two but you know what i really feel that with wrestlemania not in front of the live crowd not getting the payoff that you get by changing championships i don't think the wwe is about to pull the trigger on some major title changes this coming weekend but we'll wait and see i could be very wrong i'll be honest haven't really been tuning into much raw and smackdown as of late so really don't know i could be you know talking a bunch of bs right now and who knows? We'll see this weekend. Anyway, next matchup is Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan. And this one I've got to give to Sami Zayn. I mean, the stuff I've seen from Sami Zayn as of late has been absolutely fantastic. Not that it hasn't been from Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has been great as always. But I really feel that at this point in time, there's this little bit of a push that's going in the favor of Sami Zayn. And I really feel that that's going to continue here with this WrestleMania match. I think Daniel Bryan will put Sami Zayn over and we're going to see Sami Zayn pick it up the win. Now on to the womp womp. Dumpster fire match. Yes, no, this one between Elias and King Corbin. That kind of, I really don't know a lot of the backstory on this one. I caught the little bit of uh, what was going on there when Rob Gronkowski was introduced to the WWE Universe just recently. And that whole segment really just was a hard pill to swallow in the first place. So I really don't know how I feel about this match. I don't really particularly dislike either of these guys. In fact, you know, Elias is actually quite entertaining. I've enjoyed him, but there's just really nothing here that interests me. And the, the goofiness that's been put behind this one really just, you know, takes any steam out of wanting to see a match between these two individuals. Who's going to win? Do we really care? Well, you know what? For the sake of this particular video, I'll just go ahead and say Corbin. They really like him. Corbin wins? Sure. Next up, we've got Aleister Black versus Bobby Lashley. Feelings are very mutual on this one as the previous one. Again, don't particularly dislike either. Guys, I feel Bobby Lashley has been not really used in a great way in his WWE run here at all uh, since making his return. I mean, the stuff they've given him just doesn't seem to be fitting to the type of style that he can provide to a wrestling company. Aleister Black, on the other hand, you know, he's had great moments, great uh, times out there, showing a lot of great work inside that ring. I find one of the things with Aleister Black, though, uh, that really doesn't really uh, go over well with me is the voice doesn't suit the type of character. And the move style doesn't necessarily suit the type of character at the same time either. Personal opinions, but that just seems to be the way. This character could be a hell of a lot more. I think Black is a very talented individual and gives you one hell of a show inside the squared circle. But at the same time, I feel like there might just be something missing that's not quite connecting. And it could be that character. I mean, look at the dude. He looks badass as hell when he's out there. But then he starts talking and doing some of the meditation type stuff he does. And 
things don't seem to fit all that great. That aside, we're going to see some great competition. Alistair Black is definitely going to put out his fair share of great work inside there. Bobby Lashley, as always, going to be working his ass off in this match. In the end, I feel like Alistair Black will pick up the victory here. This one is going to go in the favor of Black, giving the fans something to rejoice in. Up next, we got the Raw Tag Team Championship match between the Street Profits as they take on Andrade and Angel Garza. This one... Very a lot of potential here to be an excellent in-ring co uh, competition match. And that's what I really hope with the theme of WrestleMania this year is, is allow a lot of these competitors go out and do what they do best and tell a story inside that ring. Give them their time, tell them what the finish is, get out there and give us a very entertaining wrestling-based show. Don't worry about the glitz and the glamour because we already know it's stripped down and we're not getting any of it this year. So you know what? Give us something that we've been longing for for quite some time, and that's competitive wrestling action. Let these guys go out there and tear each other apart. And this one should be a lot of fun if that is it going to go forth like that. We know that we've got excellent, excellent workers out of, out of these four individuals. They can give us a tag team classic and something that we can actually remember from this year's WrestleMania. In the end, I still feel the Street Profits are going to hang, hang on to those Raw Tag Team Championships. I don't feel that, again, it's the time to pull the trigger with Andrade and Angel Garza as the tag team champions. I know that the titles have, you know, lost steam as of late. They seem to bounce around from team to team. Any team that's put together seems to be able to capture the belts at some point or another. But again, it really takes the steam out of it to do it here, especially with the Street Profits being as hot as they are at the moment. I really feel that the Street Profits need to and will remain the Raw Tag Team Champions. Then we got the one that's been built up quite well. That is Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. This feud has been going on for quite some time. And both these men can put on an instant classic inside that ring. We know their work rate. We know how good they are. We know that they can probably get the job done despite the lack of the audience there to feed off of. We can get a very competitive you know, memorable match between these two great individuals. Uh, they're going to slug it out. They're going to be a lot of great things inside that squared circle. And in the end, again, I think Seth Rollins is going to pick up the win here. I think that right now with the direction that they're going, Seth Rollins is the more fitting person going forth for the win in this one, or at least to carry it forth. If you want this to continue on, having the heel Seth Rollins go over Kevin Owens in this particular matchup really helps to establish a feud that can carry on past this weekend's WrestleMania. The SmackDown Women's Championship match. This one, again, I'm not really that big a fan of what they've got going on here. They, it just seems like an opportunity to get as many people on the card as possible. You've got Bailey defending against Sasha Banks. Uh, against Evans, against Tamina, and against Naomi in this particular one. This is a crazy lineup of people that really, like, the only story here is, I guess, Bailey and Sasha Banks. I feel that's the only story that they've got embedded inside of this matchup in particular. And I feel that this might be one of the very few and only matches of the entire night that leads to a title change. Sasha Banks ends up picking up the victory. It's going to come down to her and Bailey. I'm strongly believing in that one. And in the end, Sasha Banks ends up picking up the victory, taking over the SmackDown Women's Championship and starting a program between her and Bailey in one-on-one -on -one competition, moving forward, getting out of this particular situation. We get the Raw Women's Championship that'll be on the line. Becky Lynch taking on Shayna Baszler. Baszler absolutely annihilating everybody inside the Elimination Chamber. Looking like a real badass leading into this thing. This would have been a perfect opportunity to have Shayna Baszler go out, beat the man Becky Lynch, and become the new Women's Championship. But again, the payoff isn't there. I mean, they might pull the trigger. There is a slight chance of pulling the trigger with this one just because of the fact that you know, Baszler being the heel that she is, does she need that reaction? Probably not. So this one is one where we could still maybe see Baszler picking up the win, but I almost feel like Becky's big loss coming at the hands of Shayna Baszler feels a little bit empty if it happens in front of nobody except for us watching around the world on the WWE Network. So I feel like this one could carry on a little bit longer. There could be some sort of 
screwy finish to it. In fact, you know, maybe neither of them end up winning, but I'm going to go ahead and say that Becky Lynch retains her Raw Women's Championship in this particular matchup. Edge and Orton in the last man standing match is something that would have been extremely exciting to see, especially if you're a live audience there at WrestleMania. We know that these two great workers are going to carry on an excellent show no matter what, and they're going to do it again this weekend at WrestleMania. This last man standing match is going to be absolutely brutal. You know that either man is going to pull out all the stops in order to be the victor in this one, and I'm sure we are going to get a match that we will be talking about for quite some time. I think this match match is going to define the better part of WrestleMania 36 this year. Who do I think is going to win though? I think after all the buildup and everything that's happened, there is no way that Edge doesn't walk out the winner of this one. I feel strongly with this. Edge is going to be your victor in the last man standing match with Randy Orton. Then we got John Cena and The Fiend, another match that would have been very exciting. What can they do with this one? You know, there's all sorts of rumors you can look at on the internet, but again, as always with all the rumors, we don't really know what's going to happen until this weekend, and it's best not to get bogged down in rumors and spoilers or anything. I mean, this is the only wrestling event we really have coming up for the next little while, folks, so why ruin it for yourselves? Why spoil it? Just enjoy what's going to happen. I really feel strongly that this is Bray Wyatt's time. The Fiend is going to destroy John Cena. Who knows if this is going to end up in some sort of Firefly Funhouse match or something crazy like that. But either way, Bray Wyatt the Fiend walking out the victor, picking up, you know, a little bit of, you know, retribution from when he lost to John Cena so many years ago at WrestleMania. This is Bray Wyatt's opportunity. He's going to win this match and go on. Then we got the Boneyard match between Undertaker and AJ Styles. You know, again, I've been highly against the Undertaker and him performing as of late. You know, especially like, you know, it's not that I have a problem with older performers and stuff like that. But just some of the matches, they just, especially when it comes to the Undertaker, just don't feel the same as they once did. And I know that goes for just about any performer. You get older, your body doesn't move the same. It's going to be very, very difficult. But the problem is, is that when you grew up watching The Undertaker, the mystique, the intrigue with that character, and then you get older and you start to watch and he becomes, like AJ said, a broken down old shell of himself. You know, like he's not The Undertaker anymore. And it takes away that fun and excitement. Nonetheless, you got two quality performers in this match. AJ Styles continues to be able to prove that he can have a great match with anybody. And that should, you know, go the same with performing with The Undertaker, which is why I'm sure the WWE wanted AJ Styles and The Undertaker performing together because they knew that they could rely on AJ Styles to get that quality performance out of The Undertaker. And if it had to be his last match, then hey, that would have been a great send-off doing it against somebody the caliber of AJ Styles. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be the last ride for The Undertaker at this point, especially considering the circumstance. I can't see him riding off into the sun at WrestleMania when we, there's nobody there to see it. So in the end, I think Undertaker will pick up the victory here. Uh, I think it'll probably bring a halt to this whole feud with AJ Styles and that you know we'll see another Undertaker match down the road here somewhere before he officially makes his retirement. The Universal Championship match. What's going to happen here? I don't know. I keep reading things about Roman Reigns is in, he's out, he's in, he's out. Send the damn guy home already. There is so much going on in this world. And a lowered immune system, which he very well could have considering everything that he's been through in his life. It is too much of a risk to send this guy out for WrestleMania. I mean, if he does it, oh man, that just feels rotten to me. Like, again... Take nothing away from Roman Reigns. I would love to have him on a WrestleMania. The guy deserves to be there for all his hard work and everything he does for the company. But at the same time, it is not worth risking your health, putting yourself in jeopardy just for this one night, especially a night in front of no fans at all in a match that nobody cares about because, hey, anyone but Goldberg pretty much. At the same time, how do you fix this problem with only days left to go? What do you do with the Universal Championship if Roman isn't there to conquer Goldberg? Well, I don't know. What do you do? Maybe throw out somebody you do have just for the sake of it. I guess you could do that. 
You pretty much put anybody in there. It doesn't matter at this point. Better yet, I think that you should have one of the matches maybe be, hey, the winner of this particular match on Saturday night will face Goldberg on Sunday for the Universal Championship. Hey, there's a novel idea. But anyway, if Reigns does happen to be in this match, yeah, I'm sure he will take the championship. If not, then who, who knows what's going to go down when it comes to the Universal Championship this weekend at WrestleMania. Last but not least, we got the WWE Championship match between Brock Lesnar and the Royal Rumble winner Drew McIntyre. The match that WrestleMania is just built around. It always was. This was the match. You wanted to be the Royal Rumble winner so you could take on the champion at WrestleMania. And what a great Royal Rumble it was. Fans were excited. They want this match. They want Drew's opportunity to overcome the beast Brock Lesnar and become the new world champion. But is it worth it? In the grand scheme of things, when you have nobody there to witness it live, is it really worth it? Drew's going to be celebrating with a title win in front of nobody. That just really won't fly. It won't help him at all because you're not going to get that interaction, that you know, pop from the crowd to really know if this is the guy moving forward. So therefore, I really feel like the easiest thing for them to do in this current situation is continue to continue on with Brock Lesnar as the WWE champion and I feel that is the way it's going to go a competitive match yes but Drew will get messed around screwed over whatever in the end and we will see Brock Lesnar retain the WWE championship this weekend at WrestleMania so there you have it for my predictions for this weekend's WrestleMania event based on the current matches listed on WWE's website. Again, by the time this video goes up, there could be changes, cancellations, anything could go down. That is how crazy things are moving with COVID-19 at the moment. Anyways, I'm so glad that you guys spent the time here today to listen to me ramble, talk a little bit, and give you a lowdown about what's going on here on the Video Bros Network. We hope that you'll continue to tune in to all the content that we have here. Remember to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the notifications bell. Hopefully, again, I'll be having guests on the show coming up, and you continue to tune in and support what we do here on the Video Bros Network. If you haven't already, Make sure that you have a great, safe, and wonderful day. Keep well, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye for now.